Aloha, I'm Denny Roman, and welcome to the Maui Yoga Path. It is such a blessing to be able to practice and teach yoga in paradise, surrounded by the beauty of the mountains, ocean, blue sky, and cool breezes. You have taken the first step on the path to health and happiness. I have created Hatha Yoga Practice as a tool to find consistency in taking care of you. In my 30 plus years living on the yoga path, I have found that keeping the body healthy, the mind relaxed, and the spirit connected gives life order and purpose. Every day of our lives, it is important to have a sadhana, a spiritual practice, which includes the body, mind, and spirit. Create a space for yourself in your home with your yoga props and spiritual books. Check in with yourself first thing in the morning. Write in a journal. Plan and organize your day. Eat whole, natural plant food that will feed your body, mind, and spirit. Exercise and take time every day to be alone, quiet, and still. Being organized in all parts of your life the home, clothes, car, business, will give you clarity and balance. Life is a dance. Every day the sun rises is a new beginning, a new moment to question, learn, grow, and change. As the sun sets, the moon appears. As we quietly reflect on the day, our progress, answers, and new questions arise. Do what makes you happy. Life is short. It goes by quickly. Get the most out of every moment. Live your highest potential. Make a difference. Your handprint and footprint are original. The body is a treasure. Take care of it. The Simple Show explains yoga. When you think of yoga, you probably imagine exercise and complicated positions. But actually, it's traditionally based on meditation and spirituality. Believed to originate from the 5th or 6th century BC, yoga is an Indian practice that also covers religion and philosophy. Hatha yoga, however, the physical practice more commonly seen in the West, became popular in the 1980s and has been on the rise ever since. Over 20 million people practice it in the U.S. alone. Its physical postures, known as arsanas, are used to relieve health problems, reduce stress, and make the spine and muscles more limber. You might recognize some of the positions. The bow pose, the warrior pose, and the downward facing dog. The latter helps build bone density and because the heart is above the head, encourages blood circulation. Start in mountain pose. Place your feet together in parallel, arms resting alongside your body. Draw the shoulders back and away from the ears. Relax your neck. Let the feet root down into the ground. Tone the belly, drawing it in slightly. The neck is long, the crown of the head rises toward the sky, and the shoulder blades slide down the back. On an inhale, circle your arms overhead, stretch your body upward, and elongate the spine. Exhaling, slowly hinge forward at your waist, bending the knees as you go. Touch the ground with your fingertips, or rest your arms on your shins. Inhaling, straighten the legs and lift the chest up, extend the spine. Exhale as you bend the knees and step back with your right leg. Place the knee on the ground, foot flat on the mat. Bring the hands to your front knee, relax the shoulders, and square the hips forward. Open your arms to the side, palms facing upward. Keep breathing here. Now reach your arms up alongside your ears, palms facing each other. Exhale, bring your fingertips to the floor, Step your back foot forward. Inhale, rise up to a standing position. 
Straighten the legs as you reach high, arms overhead. Exhale, release the arms. Inhale, circle your arms out and up. Exhale, bend the knees as you dive forward. Fingertips are touching the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, straight spine and legs. Exhale, bend the knees again. Step your left foot back, bringing the knee to the floor. Inhale, bring your hands to your front knee. Turn the hips straight forward. Keep breathing. Open your arms to the side. Turn the palms upward. Now circle the arms up, keeping them parallel. Exhale, release the arms to the mat and step the back leg toward your arms. On an inhale, lift the chest, elongate the spine. Now heel toe your feet hip width apart and hug the elbows. Come to a forward bend with your knees bent. Adjust yourself, shifting from side to side, and then try to pull your elbows closer to the earth, or simply rest here observing the sensations in your lower back. Exhaling, release the arms, Place them on your hips and raise all the way up, moving into a slight back bend to compensate the bend. Return to Tadasana. Inhaling, bring the arms up over the head. Exhaling, bend the knees and fold forward at your waist. Bring your head to your knees. Inhale, lift the chest, straight spine and legs. Exhale, step back into high plank position. Drop the knees on the mat, then lower your whole upper body down. Inhaling, gently rise up to baby cobra. Press your palms down, elbows under your shoulders. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale, lower to the earth. Then push your hips up and back while moving into downward facing dog. Fully ground through your palms, spread the fingers, and walk your legs a few times. Bend the right knee and sink the left heel toward the ground. Now bend your left knee and lower the right heel down. Repeat this a few times. Now straighten your legs, elongate your spine, and take the last breath in Downward Dog. With the next exhale, step or walk your feet to your arms. Inhale, lift the chest, long spine. Exhale, fold at your waist, bending the knees a little. With the next inhale, reach the arms up and overhead while stretching the whole body upward. Exhale, return to mountain pose. 
Inhaling, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, dive forward, holding at the waist. Keep the knees straight or bend them if that feels more comfortable. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, step back into plank pose, then lower all the way to the mat. First the knees, then the chest. Inhale, raise the upper body into cobra, straightening the arms as much as possible, but not all the way. Exhale, move to downward dog. Root your palms into the ground, push your hips up and back, and elongate the spine. Take an inhale, and with the next exhale, step the right foot forward to your right palm. Bring the left heel to the earth. Rise up, moving to warrior one. First bring the arms to your hips, adjusting your torso and hips so that they're pointed forward. Now raise the arms up overhead, palms parallel, while gazing straight forward. As you exhale, release the arms onto the mat, moving into downward facing dog. Take a few restoring breaths here before you switch sides. On the next exhalation, step the left foot forward to your left palm. Ground the right heel down. Slowly rise up, Bringing your arms to the hips, gently rotate your hips and torso until they point forward. Then bring the arms overhead. Exhale, release the arms to the front of the mat and step back into Downward Dog. Let's spend a few breaths here. Push through your arms, straighten the legs, and breathe. On the next exhalation, Step your feet together to the front of the mat. Lift the chest. Exhale, bend the knees as you fold at your waist. With an inhale, raise the body up with the hands over the head. Exhale, release to Tadasana. Inhale, raise the arms up, lengthen the whole body upward. Exhale as you hinge forward, bring your fingertips to the floor. Inhaling, lift your chest halfway. Exhaling, step back into high plank and lower yourself to the earth. Look slightly ahead of your palms so your neck is aligned with your spine. Inhale, upward facing dog. Notice in upward facing dog, the thighs are lifted while in cobra, the body rests on the mat. Exhale, push your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Straighten the legs.
With the next exhale, bring your gaze forward and step your feet to your arms. Inhale, lift the chest, flat back. Exhale, standing forward bend. On an inhale, rise up with a flat back and reach the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, release to mountain pose. Inhaling, reach the arms up. Exhaling, keep the spine straight and bring the palms down to your feet, folding at your waist. Inhaling, open the chest up. Exhale, step back to high plank, lower to Chaturanga Dandasana. Keep your body straight and come down in one piece. The whole body stays off the ground. On an inhale, shift your upper body slightly up and forward into upward facing dog. Exhale, curl your toes under as you move to downward dog. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, step the right foot forward. Raise the arms overhead into warrior one. Palms are parallel and facing each other. Exhale, extend your arms out to the sides in warrior two. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, stretching the arms in opposite directions. Gaze through your extended right arm. On the next exhalation, bring your right elbow to your thigh and stretch the left arm out and overhead. Gently try to rotate your torso outward while keeping the breathing even and steady. Look down toward your front foot and rise up to warrior two one more time. From there, circle your arms to the front of the mat and take vinyasa. Exhaling, step back into high plank and lower yourself to the earth. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. With the next exhalation, step the left foot forward to your left palm and rise up to warrior one. Arms are extended in parallel. Gaze forward, breathe. On an exhale, stretch the arms wide coming into warrior two. Bring your gaze through the left arm. Tuck your pelvis in and if your body allows, sink a little lower, breathe. Now lower your left elbow to the thigh and extend the right arm up and overhead in extended side angle pose. Keep bending your front knee. Rise up, return to warrior two, then take vinyasa. Circle your arms to the front of the mat High plank to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Spend a few breaths here, making your breathing slow and even. Elongate the spine, keep the legs straight. With an exhale, step forward to your hands. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. On an exhale, fold at your waist with your palms down beside your feet. Forward fold. Inhaling, rise up and lift the arms toward the sky. 
lengthen up through the fingertips and the crown of the head. Exhaling, return to mountain pose. 